Look, can we can we find out who's on live stage now? Have we? Oh yes, oh, we can they are. straight. <laughs> you mentioned something here, then by magic <laughs> it appears. Yes. <laughs> we've got Sam. the we've got the hot people doing a, a live set for us any any minute now. Yeah, are you happy, boys? Extremely. We're very happy. <laughs> great to be. Yeah, great it's to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Sam, Sam, we've known for a lot of years. We remember him as a teenager. <laughs> Whitby Folk Week, um, times when I worked with his dad as well, and yeah, yeah and and your performance. When was the, when was your first performance? Two thousand but... at Music Port. It was two thousand and seven, I believe. Like, yeah. The same year as Courtney Pine. Well, it was just yes. before <laughs> Courtney Pine, wasn't it? And you, <laughs> yeah. we put, you 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 asked for the gig, and I, th I thought well, I tried to fit. And, and in the end, we put you in the cafe just before Courtney Pine. And the reaction was amazing. Courtney had to step up to the mark that night. <laughs> it that was, was a amazing. Great memory that a fantastic night for us. Yeah, no, it was lovely yeah. because we, we you discovered at the Robin Hood Bay, the Robin Hood Bay's Folk Club, I think it was. That's right. Yeah, yes. Jim Jim Foster who organised that recommended you. And Music Pop was our second ever gig back then. <laughs> wow, <laughs> and it was astonishing, yeah. and it well, and we know it will be astonishing tonight as well as ever. Yeah. Fingers crossed. And is it how many gigs have you done recently? Three. Three? <laughs> right. Yeah. And yet been, you, it, you're usually gigging all the time, aren't you? Yeah, it yeah it's be been a very odd, but it's odd for everybody. Yeah. You know, it, it's a, a difficult time. Yeah. Uh, not just for musicians, it's, it's the whole cultural sector's been hit. You know, it's gone yeah. sideways. So it's a yeah. very tough yeah. moment for everyone. Yeah, I mean, these guys here have got so much equipment in the, in the store that it's not getting used at the moment. It's very yeah. sad, you yeah. know. It needs to be out there and doing things. So, exactly. Yeah, cross fingers in the new year, something yeah. will change. I'm very glad we've got you out the house tonight. <laughs> it's, a yeah. it's a pleasure to be here, I tell you. <laughs> Over to you. Over to you. <laughs> oh, are we on? Yeah. Hey! Right, yes, a gig. Uh, it's fantastic to be here. Uh, thanks to Music Port once again. Uh, they were at the beginning of us, really, So we, as we've just talked about. And HPSS as well. I know uh, it's not just the musicians, but as we just now said, everyone's struggling. But it's great to be here together, gigging. Uh, we haven't said that for a long time. The perfect thing to get those worries disappearing is to have a dance. So feel free to dance along to us at home. Feel free to also make a donation while we're playing to the My Donate page. And let's get that total even higher than it is, I reckon. So we'll, we'll, I'll get down here. We'll start with um, a tune. I won't tell you what it's called. Uh, because every time Sam says the uh, the title, uh, because of my very childish humour, it makes me laugh.
Thank you very much. And the crowd went nuts. Thank you very much, everybody. So that set started off with a great Swedish tune that I got from the band called Swap, and it was called Moibigen, I believe. It always makes me laugh when I say that. I lost one of my balls as well, look. <laughs> That's how I pay for My small one. <laughs> right. And then we went into um, a great Canadian tune called the Ice Storm, and um, that we got from a wonderful band. And I forgot the band's name, what the band's name? No ideas. And then we, went, we intersected that tune with two great, two halves of two Foho tunes, Foho from Northeastern Brazil. And the first tune that we played, the first half of the first tune we played was called Asa Branca, and that's Portuguese for white wing, or white dove, I think. And then the second tune was called Seguras as Calças, which means pull your trousers up. I've just realised it's been so, such a long time between gigs that I've even forgot what the half of these tunes are called. Um, but uh, the next one, I believe, is Wem Tango. It's called Wem Tango because um, we, we put it together in a place called Wem, just outside of Shrewsbury. And I love dance. I like any rhythm that's linked to dance, really. And I worked with dance companies for many years. And uh, I love tango. So I thought I brought, brought a tango-type rhythm to uh, a rehearsal one day. And uh, Sam thought, I know what I could put to this. And I'm not going to put a tango to it at all. I'm actually going to put a great tune written by Jo Frere, the wonderful Jo Frere, and it's called De Montford, um, that she wrote, and I've, it's played in the band Blow Zabella, so it's a French, um, it's a tune for, I think it's a Bure, actually, they play it for, um, a French dance, and we're going to play it in an Argentinian style, as you do.
Thank you. Thank you. Tango. Thank you very much. So this next one we're going to play, I came about with a great project that I did in Ghoul, which is the centre of the universe. And they have a park in Ghoul called West Park. And I did a great project where I taught, I went around 10 primary schools and taught the kids how to dance around the maple. And we reenacted a, a wonderful pageant that happened in the park, 100 years to the day we did it. And we, we found there was a record of, and a manuscript there of that they did the tune the Brighton Camp and the dance of Brighton Camp. So we ended up playing it a lot during the project. And I got Gary involved in it. And we thought, well, we should do that in the Hope people. So here we are. This is called the Brighton Camp. And Gary, explain me. And never forget that if you live in Ghoul, you're called a ghoulie. Uh, she's one of my favorite terms. Uh, yeah, and um, uh, we, me and Sam, uh, we do tra we travel a lot and giggle a lot. Well, we used to travel a lot and used to giggle a, a, a lot. Giggle, we did that as well. And um, we'd play stuff in the car to keep us awake sometimes. And there would be a guy, I don't know what it was called, but he would do this thing. It was a sort of reggae thing. And he would go, shabba, like that. So there are places in this, why, when you're indoors, uh, you can go, shabba, with us. Do you want to try that at home, everybody? You ready? A one, two, three. Shabba. Marvellous. Excellent. Marvellous. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, although it's a Morris dancing uh, sort of tune, we're going to give it a little bit of a... A reggae vibe, as you do.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Oops. So this next tune that we're going to play for you now, I wrote this tune about two years ago now, and I met this. I, I wrote this tune about a wonderful, wonderful marriage to my husband, Francesco, who's at home right now, dancing away. So hello, Francesco out there. And Francesco happens to be a very, very talented artist and um, he's, a, he's an incredible artist. And when we were first getting to know each other, I had the idea for him to send me through some of his work and I would write a piece about one of the, the pieces that sort of inspired me some music, and I did. And the particular piece of artwork that he did was called Muse. And so this piece is also called that. So this is called Muse, after a piece of Francesco Iacobello, a part of his, some of his art. And for those who think, well, you would say that because you're married to him. He is a very, very good artist as well, I must say. Just in case, for you, just being, just favouritism. <laughs> Go on, I'll be there somewhere. Yeah.
got to stand up and get me beer and bell. Sam, let's tell you what's going on. So this set came out of a little bit of research that Gary did into some different music, and he came up in, and he found some particular music called fife and drum music. He's going to explain a little bit more to you in a minute. But we combine this with a couple of types of music. We finish off with a forho tune, but we'll tell you about that in a bit. I've got me burin bell. I've got me burin bell. I should get near the mic, really, because you'll just see me miming, and that might be great. But uh, yeah, I did some research. Um, um, nothing too, <laughs> too deep. <laughs> Looks at some YouTube stuff and realised I really like fife and drum music from the southern states of the, uh, of the United States. And uh, these little kids are playing these little tiny sort of like flute-like things, really high-pitched flutes. And behind them were these fantastic, massive, big, fat drums doing the Willie and the Hand Jive, dak do gak dak do gak gak -ga -ga thing. So I thought, oh, I like that. So I'm going to use the burin bell to, to, to connect with the drum pattern. And uh, Sam's going to be doing the accordion, which is the fife. Yeah, I'm going to be the fife, everybody. And we move it into a fojo thing later on, where the fojo is from northeast Brazil, where it, it kicks out a little bit. Now, what's traditional, though, with the forho music is that when you dance to the forho and you get taken by the music, you can shout, forho! Just like that. Do you want to give that a try at home? Are you ready at home? I want two, three. It's Magnificent. Amazing. It's an amazing how we can hear people from their own houses. It is. It's incredible, incredible. isn't it? Yeah. Unbelievable. You're doing good at home, everybody. Now, because I'm, I'm a percussionist, so I don't understand anything about tuning. But we did tune it before, but it might have gone out because it's a bit nippy here. But uh, 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 Sam will check. It always sounds exactly the same to me, in or out of tune. <laughs> uh, so, oh, itchy neck. That's it. These sticks are great for that. Brilliant. Because I've got a stick, a kashishi. Got a little bit of a coin here to give it a buzz. And uh, got a belly. And um, hopefully we can put that all together for our fife and drum tune. Yeah? Yeah.
Thank you. Oh, oh. oh, I've got lovely tingles on my belly now. I like that. Thank you very much. So the next set of tunes we're going to play for you, I'm afraid I've forgotten the title of the first tune, I'll be honest. <laughs> but it's a great tune, so that's the thing that counts. <laughs> it's great to dance along to as well at home. So let's see you all dancing around your coffee tables, everybody. And then also, we're going to go into a French-Canadian tune called Go On Ahead uh, at the end of this set. Now, I also, in the middle of this set, there's a fantastic break. And it, on the, in this break, it'd be wonderful if everyone at home and here could just go, hey, like that. Do you want to give that a try? One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> wow, fantastic. Even the, light, even the lights did it. Even the lights tried did, yeah. So, and I, I'm going to play these. Uh, I, 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 I've only, the first time I've ever played them live. But the rule, the percussion rule is that if you buy something, you have to play it on your very next gig. So they're coming out tonight. Uh, I've no idea what it's going to be like, but uh, <laughs> it, it, it'll happen. It'll work. So, ready? Go for it. One, two, three. <laughs> Well done at home for your cheers. I heard them. I could hear them. Well done. So we're going to play. Uh, we're going to play um, a tune uh, linked to the place where I get all my percussion from, the wonderful Knock Homewood in Nidderdale. I love that place very, very much, and uh, uh, run by Andy and Karen, who may be watching tonight. And we did a gig, oh, many moons ago now, for Karen's birthday. And uh, we called it, because we were very imaginative of our titles, we called it Karen's Birthday Tune. And uh, Sam always asks, whose birthday is it? But there's no one in here, is it? Is anyone's birthday tonight in here? No, but somewhere at home, it's someone's birthday. So happy birthday to you. I'm sure there'll be someone out there with a birthday. Send an email in, see if it's your birthday. But tonight, we're going to call it Karen's Birthday Tune.
Thank you. So we're gonna we'll come to our final tune. Um, do you like to say a, a really massive thank you to Jim uh, and to the Music Port? We've loved playing there over the years. We really started out there, really, and they've been so supportive of us. Uh, and we wish every success with this online festival. So no, for them it's tough. For HPSS it's tough. For all the roadies and musicians and agents and everyone involved in this business is going through hell at the moment. Some of us are lucky of uh, being able to punch our way through. We're doing different things, uh, workshops and things like that. But some have fell through the cracks and I really feel for them. So let's hope they get looked after much more than, than they have been the last uh, six or seven months. But uh, we will finish up hopefully on a little bit of an uplift. Well, as a little, as a little bit of uplift, I think we should give them all, everybody involved in this event, a huge round of applause from home for making this possible. All those behind the camera that you've not, no one's seen and all those making it possible to hear us because without them... <laughs> give a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> and don't forget the My Donate link, everybody, and, and, and let's make that total even higher. Um, that would be very much appreciated. It's Music Paul's 21st birthday, of oh, course. We should have. So that last tune really was Music Paul's yeah. birthday tune. That's great. I was just looking over there at the red, the red fire in the distance. <laughs> it's a lovely feeling. I'm going to get my backside's going to be around that in a minute. Right. So we're going to finish off with one more set for you. And the first tune is a Basque tune called Disfarces that I got from the playing of Kepi Kara. And then we're going to play a tune by the Penguin Cafe Orchestra called A Tune for the New Found Harmonium. So thank you very much, everybody, for making this event possible. And thank you, everyone, for watching at home. And thank you very much. We will see you around somewhere, someplace. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Thank you very much, everybody.